Hello. Um, today we'll be working, or I guess talking about, the FCC um, with demolishing um, net neutrality, um, as well as the FTC COPA and the deal with YouTube and censorship and child friendly um, stuff. So let's begin with the FCC. So, with the FCC, it was trying to kind of um, regulate the internet of sorts, kind of control traffic. Um, but their primary goal was to kind of like add different branches of pay. So you have to pay for the gaming. Um, so you have Steam, you got I think Microsoft, things like that. Um, and like social media, like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever. Um, just different branches for you to pay, pay more. So you get the, the general gist of the internet where it's like, okay, Google, you got Wikipedia and all that, but you have to pay extra for these other programs. Kind of like cable. This is why people moved away from cable, is that it's just pointless programs that no one watches. But um, I like to point this, um, move this to Taylor's side, and you'll talk about throttling. Oh, well, th throttling the internet strength is de really de kind of depending on how much the amount you pay. Um, it kind of it's kind of like um, there are some companies out there like, let's say, CenturyLink. They have a certain pack for programs, but uh, not just CenturyLink in general has these packs I'm going to discuss a little bit. But, like, there's gaming packs where you can have access to uh, for gaming programs because it's just ruining everyone else's life instead of uh, typically old people yelling at younger people just about things like they have to pay for more things instead of having to just have it how it usually is now instead of incorporating the federal communications commission um when they demolishing when they're demolishing the net neutrality so this also kind of prevents a little bit of the internet service provider providers from interfering with traffic from some websites and at the same time it's providing faster internet services for others so it's kind of like a pro and a con but the new rules will be free to block any competing applications or service providers to keep their customers as well as political things to throttle the thinking of people. It's basically kind of cutting off or uh, it cutting off their so they don't get ads about competing service providers like say CenturyLink people there instead of um, CenturyLink could block ads from like Usenet Gen 4 other companies like that yeah um, it yeah. so well, like um, regulations and all that so you have to pay more to get better internet and it's just a bad system just like it's really farming um, all the money they could get um, so another thing is that if it kind of goes against say Verizon is Republican or something and CenturyLink is Democrat they'll probably censor the other side in different ways to kind of persuade their consumers to think a certain way. And that's not very good for the consumer, obviously, having kind of um, regulated thought of sorts. But I'd really like to move on to the FTC um, and the COPA ruining the YouTube thing. Um, so I'll let Justin take care of that. So basically, the FTC is uh they they try to tr to make the internet a safer place for children, in theory. So, but on YouTube right now, what they want to do is make it so any content defi defined as made for children will be marked as such. And while on paper that doesn't sound too bad. But the problem is that they're gonna; those videos are gonna be impossible to find. And not only is that just a blockage of information to basically anything, it also means it, they're, it's just pointless to have that video up in the first place. 
but it doesn't end in there. If you label your videos as not for uh not for children, but they deem it as such anyway, for whatever reason, like it being a Minecraft video or it being about toys or whatever, something that appeals to children like colors. And if they deem it as for children, then they'll find you for it and they'll find you for each and every video. And this is such a problem because it, it really limits on it really really limits on what people can be creative about and what opinions can be voiced or whatnot. And really the worst thing is it could sneak up on like just a random kid like a 13 year old for making a Minecraft video just building a world but with with his friends or something he kind of made like if you made it like three years ago and boom gets fined for something like non-reasonable out of nowhere yeah I, I think it's important to mention on how much is the fine um, it is forty thousand dollars per video. Yeah, it's forty thousand you... for a one video that takes like five minutes to make, and it, it's just kind of it censors people a little bit because it makes people scared that they might make something that might not go well with um, someone deemed it as inappropriate when it's themed after toys gaming animations dinosaurs whatever that it's just a scary thought for creators it's just, you have to worry about this whole ordeal about having your video taken down getting fined and you just being a pretty young person without a job you have no idea how to even deal with this and if you're not even self aware with like your emails and all that even you don't even know that you even got a fine. You're just just kind of putting the fun of your experiences on the internet so pe other people could view and experience them as well in a, in a way. Um, but since we kind of finished all of those topics, I'd like to bring up um, the questions that we're, we were given when doing this project. So, how does it affect the people? We already kind of mentioned this, but I'll kind of go over it again. Um, with the FCC thing, it has people kind of like the corporations, the internet providers, gouging at the um, consumer's wallet, kind of putting them in predicament and just kind of, I, I guess you're going to have a little more selective freedom, but it should already be available by default and it's just a bad addition. Um, with the FTC portion, um, YouTubers are, if like, not labeled child friendly or whatever um or i guess if they label it as not child friendly that video will get pushed down uh, and no views will get and no money no revenue no views um no recognition no kind of redeeming moment uh, and not everyone's a kid so some people like me i like some eventually every now and again um collecting figures and kind of just collecting them but since it's technically a toy that could be child friendly even though it has something like gore involved or something like that so yeah um how do we uncover this information well one is just kind of paying attention to the news reading on the situations since we kind of thrive in this environment it's kind of common knowledge common word um and the word it goes around fairly quickly um so news outlets is also a good one like cnn fox news i don't think fox news covers it but um of course reading it or i guess watching it or viewing it on youtube is another basically thing. if you've ever, if you've been on youtube twitter or whatever in the last like month and a half you would have seen it yeah again word goes around <laughs> fairly quickly. Now I've got links I already posted in um, slides so if you want to check it out um, go for it. But by supporting the petitions um, one is regulations.gov and the other is petitions um, YouTubers and viewers unite against FTC um, when supporting these kind of um, 
polls, I guess petitions, um, it kind of gives a good um, word in, right? So with one of the links, regulations.gov, you can leave a note. You can send a note to the people pushing it. It has not been put in effect yet, but if with enough time, people could put a good word in and, you know, not don't say anything cruel, nothing inappropriate, just keep it PG and just say, hey, we need to, this is not a good idea, it's going to ruin a lot of people's lives over, it's going to make things a lot more complicated and just unnecessary. So, yeah, and the, the internet should not be censored, it's, uh, just don't. Even if it's like against your beliefs politically, everything deserves a platform, whether it's silly or smart. It deserves a platform. Um, so I'd like to close this kind of video up. I think I extend out the video a little bit longer than it should, but to kind of give some sort of credit, uh, my name is Ryan, and... This is Taylor. Yep. And this is Justin. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this presentation of ours.